got off the train less than an hour ago. <laughs> Doing this. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna wait for me, I guess, okay. <laughs> mm, it has a soy um soy powder. <laughs> soy sauce. Soy sauce. Right, when this you is said a good thing. I love that soybean powder. And it's not so sweet. Yeah. Service to store your umbrella. Nice shopper shopper. Thank you. Oh my god. That's our romance restaurant. Hold hands. You can just take the only pork mm -hmm. to part of the pork and uh, this pork. Mm -hmm. Get everything. Oh, pumpkin. I love pumpkin. Yeah, some luxury. This <laughs> record me and I get nervous. You gotta balance it out, right? The doctor said it's my family. And we are so juicy here. And it's unlimited. It's unbelievable. And for the price that we usually would eat for any kind of uh, normal or even yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Always room for dessert. We're eating together. Today is the last day in Tokyo. My last full day. Oh, I still need a minute to reflect on this trip. It has been a good month. I'm grateful for the friends that were able to join me throughout the trip, making the memories that we did. And I will always remember this trip for sure. I don't know why I'm getting it. I think this trip also brought out some other like perspectives within myself and the world and how we live life. And so it's really based on how we choose to live it and how we choose to see it. And I think that's something that we all should take a step back and reflect on every now and then because when you're so comfortable in the way you live sometimes, you don't get to like tell yourself to take a step back and see if there's anything that can be changed to make it better to make yourself feel happier and better and everyone's just getting busier and busier and more drowned in their day-to-day -day life and work that it's the norm now and honestly even though i'm not going through the worst myself but I know a lot of people are in the fact that we can't even realize it because because it is such a norm now in our society it makes me feel so sad for the way our world has become and the way our like the future generations have to go through compared to what it should have been like all along which is a very 
simple and fulfilled life through normal work hours, normal expectations, and just not the way things are looking nowadays. I guess I just wish life can be simplified to the way it was meant to be when humans were made. <laughs> I don't know. And it's funny because I like, moved to one of the busiest cities in America where everything's overcomplicated and not simplified whatsoever and paces definitely a hundred times faster than any other places. But maybe that was my way of allowing myself to feel all that, to numb the other thoughts and feelings in my head, like the ones I have currently. Because when I did get this opportunity to have my thoughts and reflections slow down at a such much more slower pace the way that these people are living it here I really had to sink and drown in my own thoughts a lot a lot and I think that's probably what was best for me throughout this trip because I've been running away from all that since moving We'll see how Anna does when she returns back to New York, I guess. I'll bring you guys along and show you what I'm doing for my last full day. And I'm actually flying out tomorrow afternoon. So, see you guys soon. I'm currently heading to a Sofu based or Sofu? Tofu based restaurant that I found on Google Maps because tofu in Japan is just extra good and I randomly stumbled upon this when I was looking on the maps and apparently a lot of locals go here all the tofu are made inside the house so let's go check it out together I think we're here like so much tofu options and this is just their pantry stuff or snack stuff and there's a restaurant in there I really want to try this soy milk panna cotta with coffee and their tofu ice cream Ooh. we'll eat some food first hi just one thank you This is the menu. Uh, English, thank you. So they gave me an English menu. Thank God. I love places that do that. Thank you. I think I kept seeing everyone get the tofu lunch set. So I'm gonna try that. So I get a little bit of everything. But all the stuff. Can I do the tofu lunch set? So the set comes with a tea tofu, a soup that has a mixture of everything in there, like steamed tofu, fried tofu, a little bit of meat actually, it looks like pork, and onion. The broth is so light. And then some cute little side dishes. And that's actually salty tofu broth, not sweet. gotta do when you're traveling alone.
I got two cakes for the price of one in the States. Finally got the cakes. Woo. I'm gonna go find somewhere to sit and enjoy these. Probably gonna find like a Starbucks or something because they have a lot of seats. We'll see. comfy they're gonna be my airplane plant plants airplane pants for today and i'm gonna head down for some breakfast i added free breakfast into my reservation and i didn't know until i got here so let's go see what they have today this morning i was going to also go wait early in line for a place i really wanted to try before i left but honestly I just need to get over the fact that not everything will work out perfectly and get over the fact that I'm not going to be able to try everything I want in this one trip. Like, that's the benefit of working hard to save up money to come back again. So I'm not going to rush myself eating breakfast at the hotel. I'm just going to go with the flow, see how I feel after breakfast. I did already buy convenience store stuff. For the airport so honestly if i feel okay after breakfast and i'm not really looking to crave any more of like the other stuff i'm just gonna go straight to the airport i need to learn to just take it one thing at a time and not try to cramp everything into one trip because that is very stressful and i don't like that all right let's go down I'm going for these. Got beef curry. Not curry. So these are what I ended up getting. I got two types of rice to balance it out with steamed tamago. And then some different vegetables. I have no idea what this is yet. I'll figure it out. And then made my own little curry egg thing with the rice. Nope. The beef curry with the scrambled egg is actually really good right now. And with this rice, potato croquette dipped in this curry sauce would be really good. The beef is actually really tender. Just a little rice, a little curry, a lot of egg. Mm. Let's try some of this. Actually, it looks really appetizing. Mm. Round two. 
I can't get over this curry rice. This is the pile that I'm going to sleep with tonight. This is insane. Any day normal me would not be going to bed like this, but I'm giving myself a pass because I just had a long flight and it's almost 2 a.m. and I really need sleep. And I will try not to think about this while I'm asleep. Ah. All right, as long as I turn the light off, I should be fine, right? Oh my god. Uh, why did I unpack? Why? 